Hello guys, my name is Tarun and I'm from Civil Branch. Today we are going to discuss about the topic back coupling. So what is impact? In mechanics, an impact is a high force or shock applied over a short period of time when two or more bodies collide. Such a force or acceleration usually has a greater effect than a lower force applied for a proportionally longer period. This effect depends critically on the relative velocity of the bodies to one another. At normal speeds, during a perfectly inelastic collision, an object struck by a projectile will deform and this deformation will absorb most or all of the force of the collision. Viewed from a conservation of energy perspective, the kinetic energy of the projectile is changed into heat and sound energy. As a result of deformations and vibrations induced in the struck object. However, these deformations and vibrations cannot occur instantaneously. A high velocity collision and impact does not provide sufficient time for these deformations and vibrations to occur. Thus, the struck material behaves as if it were more brittle than it would otherwise be and the majority of the applied force goes into fracturing the material. Or another way to look at it is that Materials usually are more brittle on short time scales than on a long time scales. This is related to time temperature superposition. Impact resistance decreases with an increase in the modulus of elasticity, which means that stiffer materials will have less impact resistance. Resilient materials will have better impact resistance. Impact applications. A nail is pounded with a series of impacts, each by a single hammer blow. These high velocity impacts overcome the static friction between the nail and the substrat. A pile driver achieves the same end, although on a much larger scale. The method being commonly used during civil construction projects to make buildings and bridge foundations. An impact wrench is a device designed to impact part tor torque impacts to bolt to tighten or loosen them. At normal speeds, the forces applied to the bolt would be dispersed via friction to the mating threads. However, at impact speeds, the forces act on the bolt to move it before they can be dispersed. In ballistics, bullets utilized impact forces to puncture surfaces that could otherwise resist substantial forces. A rubber sheet, for example, behaves more like glass at typical bullet speeds, that is, it fractures and does not stretch or vibrate. The field of applications of impact theory ranges from the optimization of material processing, impact testing, dynamics of granular media, to medical applications related to the biomechanics of the human body, especially the hip and knee joints. Also, it has vast applications in the automotive and military industries. Oblique central impact. Impacts that took place when two particles in question were moving along the same straight line. Such an impact is called direct central impact. And in, case, in, the, in this case, the problem can be completely solved by considering it in a one-dimensional setting. In this session, we, we shall generalize this to include impact that occurs when the particles are not moving along the same straight line. We shall however assume that the particles are still confined to the same plane. Such impacts are called oblique central impacts. We shall make another assumption that the during impact that is when the particles are in contact there is no frictional effects. This is of course an unrealistic assumption but it simplifies our calculations. In oblique impact tests the the correlation between the normal and tangential forces on an instrumented road surface suggests an effective friction coefficient of about 0.2 high speed film shows that there is sliding followed by rolling of the helmet shell on the road plus sliding at the helmet head form interface FEA which takes account of the shear and compression of the plasticized PVC head form scalp confirms the sliding at the two interfaces. So that's it about the topic impact oblique. Thank you.